social media interactions have um, um, taken a different turn um, lately um, with all these um, media outlets and this ease by which you can just get on your phone and then start speaking to somebody or speaking about an issue um, it has become a very serious force so much so that we've seen um, incidences of people's um, reactions to such interactions in the past there are people who have committed suicide because um, of social media and um, what um, people said about them in the past there are people who have taken um, to serious um, um, grounds of um, going to war with others because of um, some social media um, interactions um, well there's a lot of um, ways they impact um, the nation and we cannot um, leave out the fact that they are both negative and positive uh, it's, it's a two-sided thing you know how social networking has gained um, so much ground and um, it is what is used to propel a lot of, lot of things like businesses um, these days so yeah social media is good but the, there's also a part where there's some disunity it brings um, um, among the youth and those who you know are always a part of this um, interactions um, you'll notice that certain people build um, some form of a personality online um, and most times these personalities are different from what they actually live um, in real life there are people who you know post online as if um, they are very rich um, or maybe they are very holy and yet when you um, see them in real life you'd realize that it's a lie the, the same also happened there are some people who actually post to be um, very bad and very stubborn but when you see them in real life you'll be surprised they are among one of the most kind good generous people so um like what is happening um is that uh we are feeding a lot into social media these days um the average person would wake up um immediately from bed and then take his phone people like have exchanged the places of worship and brushing your teeth um for social media in the morning it's that serious when you wake up from bed um you'd think that a person would um go get his teeth brushed first but no he takes his phone to see what message has come to see who has said what about the picture he's posted to see if um kofi has finally liked the picture or he's still not liking it you know we just seem to have so much involvement in um this stuff but we have to find the best way for uh, this social media interactions to benefit us instead of destroying us um, there's also the issue of people comparing themselves to others because of what they see online and when they are not satisfied with how much they have or what they are like they are depressed because um, they think those people who are posting the things that they, they desire are better off than they are and because of this you see that such um, uh, people who are um, suffering from um, inferiority complex will be doing their best to strive to you know and um, please people and live um, this life that um, uh, they wish to have but this 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 type of peer pressure is is very negative um, we will not blame those um, who put um, those lifestyles for them to watch per se but you know people are people and there are things that um, um, the human has needs and wants but there are some people who um, have this fixed idea that when you don't have a want that is met you are sort of less of a human being or you are not qualified for something and that's where the problem is we seem to make um, um, our decisions based on what we have around us 
who we speak to, the people that um, send us messages and stuff like that. But you have to know that there's a life that you live online that should um, not impact the life that you live um, at home in your workplace and outside of um, the online um, social platforms. There's so much exposure to these social media things that uh, uh, people even see the world in a different way. The perceptions of people um, is mostly wrong because what they see is what they, they immediately um, digest. Even um, in the news um, industry like what we are doing right now, people tend to easily believe what they see. If you hear for example, um, certain minister has done this and that because you heard it from a news agency you believe it without um, finding out whether it's true or whether they are half truth so all of these things um, all contribute um, you notice that um, the world seems to like to enjoy lies the lies that are given to them is what they want uh, to hear and see but when you give them the truth they don't like it and, and because of this it's rather unfortunate to admit that um, most news agencies and um, most platforms are promoting lies they are not encouraging the truth they are pushing those values that are actually breaking um, the people down instead of pushing the values that will lift us up and this is very true we you know um we look at how you make money fast we look at how you get to trend. We look at all the buzz that is going to be created when you post such news um, that may be lies or that may be unwholesome. And uh, because um, there's freedom to do so and because there's um, a, a, a hot demand for it from um, such social media peeps, uh, news agencies and other platforms um, do that. and. Many admit that they are not happy doing it, but they realize that's the only way they'll be able to generate um, higher incomes. So on one on one um, hand, we are trying to gain something good, but on the other hand, it looks like we are using um, um, an orthodox method to achieve this. And uh, this is where we should keep a close eye on. The thing is that when we see our children coming up and then... Um, you know how the news has been like, even this year alone, this ritual murders where 16-year-old boys and um, teenagers are all being involved in it. We all have a part to play. Before you blame the child, before you blame the little boy who has gone to murder another um, child for ritual money, where did he get that idea from? Who is telling him that he can make this amount of money by killing such a person? It's from social media. You see, you see um, adverts of um, um, some fetish priest and some um, quick money-making scheme saying <coughs> you should call them and then they will post images and pictures of lots of monies um, in different currencies. And the little child uh, or the teenager sees it and is like, this is what I want because he's not even um, getting to buy the shoe he wants. He's not buying the um, gadget he wants to get. And he sees this as a, a means to an end. You get it? So, whilst we are posting all these types of news, whilst we are posting all these types of pictures of monies and of luxury and, you know, exorbitant living and all this extraordinary good life, breakfast in bed, chilling on the sea, flying in Dubai, skydiving, all these things, whilst we are we are we are trying to show the ways we are living we are also promoting another way of um killing ourselves think about it if that individual didn't have the desire to reach that much amount of money which he saw on on the news or in social media that person who he went to murder would not have been dead so um we are we all have a part to play let's not um quickly criticize such people when they go about um, this demeaning act and we are not saying there are good things to be done but what are we ourselves doing you know many nations are suffering from the impact of social media 
um, in their countries. And we, Ghana here, we don't want um, this to also take a, another um, negative turn. You realize that people are suffering from anxiety, depression. There's so much um, mood swings because of impressions that are created on social media. Even in the recent uh, National Science and Math quiz, um, some schools are going at each other, um, trying to, you know, make the other feel um, less qualified, um, less brilliant, less educated. And though this is not um, too harmful, it has a part where um, when an individual is not able to take the fact that he lost in an exam or he lost in the uh in the contest you get it he is now deciding um that this is his um, need to be emotional now his emotions are based on such um, reactions and such speech so um that is what it looks like um, most nations are heading towards um social media is, de- is now determining the emotions people feel um, and there are there are no more uh, positive minded individuals like before you know, um, some years ago, uh, some individuals will strive to become the next, you know, um, NBA star, the next um, person who makes a plane. But now there's nobody striving to do that. How many people do we see posting pictures of, I invented this um, little machine, or I invented this um, gadget that can do this? No! We are seeing block, money, um, l'argent. You see pictures of huge stacks of money with little individuals by them wearing some Gucci belts and some, you know, some Adidas. Some, it's, it's, the, the whole motives have changed now. Nobody is posting pictures of, I won um, this award at the what, 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 what ceremony. No, 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 no. People are posting, and even when they post it, the reason why is that when they post it, you get a few likes. But when you post that money, when you post the block, and you write under it's money too soon you get it then though you target hashtag heaven on earth those t- type of tags that then people will see it and like it then you get thousand likes hundred likes and huh. so nobody wants to post those type of um, uh, sensible pictures anymore you get it then you see a, a lady posting diva then she She'll bring out, she'll protrude her waist and, and, and her, her other body parts in, in, in very enticing ways because that is the one that some hungry boys are going to like. But if you dress in a, a, a straight church gown, you are holding just a cup or a Bible um, and you write under glory to God, nobody is really liking it. Why? Because the whole motives have changed. You get it when you pose with a picture exposing your thighs and your cleavages and all those curves and the rest. You are getting likes and comments upon comments upon comments. You are the next Nicki Minaj. You are prettier than Babi. You are the apple of my eye, the banana of my nose, the tangerine of my eyelids. You get it just posting many comments and getting so much love because of the wrong things we have been shown to be as life we don't get those um, necessary and important updates anymore because people don't follow them people don't even have time for them when you post it and you even get a comment it will not be a good comment you hear something like ah, you will not stop this creepy life or you get a comment like only you are holy you get it they will post those type of comments that will break you down. Now, uh, now you pay the go heaven. Those type of comments that uh, should be you pay the go heaven. Ah, and they will put some smiley, some very funny smiley or you know one of these emojis by it. So um, let's let's watch our social media interactions and and see how we can um, get the right impact from them. Otherwise, uh, we'll be indulging in a lot of unhealthy activities. You get it? People are posting bottles, Bel Air, Ciroc, uh, on, on social media. You know, the poison. The, 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 the hashtag, this is my poison. Club. And all of those 
um, Smirnoff, you know, vodka. Yeah, oh, come on, man. We have to um, look at our priorities and then see how we change things with this social media thing. You can leave your comments about what you think um, the impact of social media and the, its interaction has on the individual. And we will see how we can change things in the country. Thank you for listening and have a nice day.